In this video you will learn how to install SolarEdge's 3-phase inverter up to 40 kilowatts. Before installing the inverter, let's identify the inverter interfaces located at the bottom of the inverter. On-off P switch. Communication gland 1. LED indicators. Communication gland 2. The AC grid gland. PE gland. And last, the MC4 connectors. Allow proper heat dissipation and ensure minimum clearance areas between the inverter and other objects. Make sure to not block airflow behind the DC safety unit. Next, position the mounting bracket against the wall and mark the drilling hole locations. Drill the holes and mount the bracket. Make sure to use at least two bracket holes. Verify that the bracket is firmly attached to the mounting surface. Now hang the inverter on the bracket. Mark the location of the bracket screw and remove the inverter. Then, drill the hole, hang the inverter back and fasten the bracket screw. Then, insert and fasten the two supplied screws through the outer heat sink fin on both sides of the inverter. Remove the front cover. Now, connect the DC connectors from each string to the DC plus and DC minus MC4 connectors according to markings, shown at the bottom of the unit. We move on to connecting our S485 communication. Remove the seal from the left opening in the communication gland and insert the cable through the opening. Use a 4 or 6 wire twisted pair cable and insert it cable through the opening. Pull out the RS-485 terminal block and connect the cable wires to the B, A and G terminals. Then, push the terminal block back to its place. Remove the seal from the communication gland and insert the cable through the opening. Connect Ethernet with a shielded Ethernet CAT5 cable to the RJ45 plug on the communication board and then connect the other side of the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet router. Then, tighten the gland nut. In order to connect our leader inverter to a string of follower inverters you will need to connect the other end of the RS-485 cable to the next inverter and continue chaining the inverters until the last one. In case you are connecting more than one inverter you will need to move up the SW1 termination switch of the first and last inverters to the on position. Last step is connecting the inverter to AC. Use a cable in a diameter range of 19 to 28 mm with wire cross section of 4 to 16 square mm. Strip 10 to 11 mm of wire insulation. If stranded wire is used, use ferrule at your discretion. For easy installation, please note that the distance between the AC gland and the PE terminal block in the DC safety unit is 120 mm and the distance between the AC gland and the AC terminal blocks in the inverter is 365 mm. Open the gland and insert the cable. Please note that if you are using a 4-wire cable, you can pass the PE wire through the PE gland instead of through the AC gland. Once the wires are passed through the AC gland, make sure to firmly close it. Then, connect protective ground to the P terminal. Connect the AC wires to the neutral, line 1, line 2 and line 3 terminals. To end the installation, close the inverter cover, fasten the screws and lastly turn on the AC circuit breaker. 
For any other issue, use our tutorials and instructional videos on our YouTube channel.